Good evening. Time for a bit more GTA 5. So I seem to remember. Yes, I left Michael on the beach after a bit of a jet ski race last night, didn't I? So what are we doing next? What's up next? Is there another Devon thing? Oh, there's a Michael thing there. Oh, yes, the thing with Martin Madrazo. Right, I'm going to need some wheels. I'm going to need some wheels, and I'm not seeing any nearby. Not even a bike. All right. Going to have to take a bit of a wander on foot. I can see my I can see my car on the mini map. Does it show me my car in the main map? I can never remember. Oh it does. Personal vehicle, right? Yeah. Uh she's all the way at home. That's not helpful. I'm sure I've wondered that before, if you can see your personal vehicle on the map. And every time I've looked I haven't been able to, which probably suggests that it had got towed or something. Right, I'm hoping there's going to be a car park up here somewhere. Or at least a road nearby. Hi. Hey Adam, how's it going? Hope you're... What day is it today? I've lost track. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? How's your Tuesday going? Oh, it's a police car. Stealing that might not be a great plan. I think it's still something though. Come here, rabbit. Let me. Let me hold you. Actually, are they rabbits? Are they rabbits? I can't tell. They're a bit too far away. I can hear cars. Hey! Proper road. Right. Ah. <sighs> That's definitely a rabbit. I can tell by the way it's hopping. Hello, excuse me, I need some help. And by help, I mean I Bless need to steal your car. Thank you very much for your donation. I'm sure I'll... Uh, which way? This way. I'm sure I'll get it back to you. I promise not to smash your car up. At all. Honest. Oh, I need to be down here. Ah, shit. Is it down there? Oh, no. Yes, it was. Ass. Excuse me, coming through. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. They, they turned into me. Right, down here. I swear, I just cannot read the directions on the minimap when the roads are this complicated. Oh! I was too busy looking at the minimap that time. Have I made a slight... Actually, the front isn't as dented as I imagined it was going to be. Oh, it's a bit of a hike to his place. Oh, 
I mean, I could have called a taxi and taken a taxi. Now I think about it. But stealing a car is way more on brand, right? I like how there's loads of rubbish coming off that lorry. Yeah, one of the things I find quite interesting about the, oops, the prospect of GTA 6 is this does not feel like a sparsely poppy. Uh, try again. This does not feel like a sparsely populated world. It feels like there's a lot going on. Feels like the NPCs generally make sense. The traffic feels like it's properly heavy where it should be and things like that. And I can only imagine that in GTA 6, it's going to be an even busier and richer world. And, like, I can't imagine it, actually. Very much looking forward to it. said you wanted work this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see yes hi <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello we're looking for mr madrazzo right this way gentlemen <laughs> patricia get us something to drink with you quickly to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. <laughs> Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. My cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? <laughs> uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's the pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. I like how it moved my car out of the way. Is it still trashed or has it repaired itself? It actually looks like it's repaired itself. Oh no, it's got a bit of a scratch going on at the back. All right. I remember this one being quite a fun mission. Oh, is that Trevor I just overtook? I think it was, wasn't it? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Hey there again, Adam. How's it going? Or is that just the chat mucking with me?
Whoa! Mike, Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood <laughs> what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? <laughs> All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. <laughs> Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? <laughs> Good old Trevor. I'm sure he's got some issues. And so much of his story does suggest he, he's sure he say he got some mummy issues. Bless him. Whoa! That went a bit wide. I think this is the first time I've been up here. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. Uh. Yeah, this doesn't look so subtle. Hey. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. Right, where is it? Don't know where the jet is. is. Out past where? downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Which, which bit's downtown? It's one of those weird Americanisms that I don't understand. Oh, there it is. That's going to be a retry, but at least I know where I'm starting out now. So hang on, if he's taking I off... I got her. Southwest of the city. Got to shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Ah, there we go. Got a 
take another shot. That'll go down next Shit. Time. Oh, come on, that was it. Fuck. Not good enough. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm sure I've actually done it faster than this before. Retry. I need to get those shots. Ah, that, I should have seen it really early there on, shouldn't is. I? I'll pass downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta Shit. give a lead. Give me a second. That didn't do it. Ah, come on, I'm wasting time. Nope. It's really hard to get the lead on it. Right. Oh, where's it gone? There. Take another shot. That'll go down next time. Hey, see it? Plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's fun. Keep an eye on the plane, but keep an eye on the road as well. Still don't know why he couldn't. I suppose he was a bit too high. Trey, suppose, suppose it, he was a bit too. Kenny, woo! Oh, shit! That didn't work. I'll be with. Wait, I'll be with you in just one minute. <laughs> oh, I didn't make the jump over the train. That's so embarrassing. There's water at the end here, isn't there? Go, go this way. Okay, this guy is going down any minute. Good. Let's hope you don't take him so fast. Well, he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, true to our fellow's country. Not our missing out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Could have, um... Sure thing, but seriously, bro, coming all the way out here. We gotta get paid. 
I could have got off smoother. Right, get those files. Anyway, anyway, anyway. How are you doing, Kenny? How's your uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Tuesday. I've already been through this one. That's someone else. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I realised I forgot what day it was again. How'd it go? Fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Oh, nice, Trevor. I'm doing okay, thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Been doing a... Oh, I need to destroy the van. Um, let's take it somewhere kind of secluded. Now that's not quite what I had in mind, but maybe I can do something with this. Oh, I've got fuel. Okay. Um, yeah, had a day of running and walking and coding, did a live stream of doing some coding, keeping busy, and then doing this. Where did I put the petrol? Uh, doing a bad job of destroying the van. Going. Slow, very slow. Um, I should be hearing something tomorrow. Um, oh, grenade might do it. Yeah, there's there's a interview that I had last week. That did it. Um, where I should be hearing what's going to happen with the next round tomorrow. Um, it's been communicated to me that I will be in the second round and there's potentially just a couple of people in it, so fingers crossed. Who knows? I'm, I may hear tomorrow that they've just gone, do you know what, Dave? You're perfect. And then there's no more ado. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. <laughs> Trevor, nothing you wouldn't do. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, I need... I wouldn't do. I need a car now. Um, so yeah, uh, tomorrow, it, today's been kind of a liminal day in that I've been doing a lot of... Ah, shit. I've been doing a, a lot of job hunting admin and things like that, but nothing concrete has been happening but mostly it's, oh I've been waiting to hear the news that I'm expecting tomorrow whoops so yeah can't complain but generally it's going kind of slowly there I'm noticing that there's not a lot of new stuff turning up and all the things that drop in you know all the emails that come from job sites and stuff like that so many of them seem to be just the same half dozen jobs each day um, sometimes presented in slightly different ways and the like so yeah we'll see I'm sure uh, I'm sure I'll get there as I said before thankfully I'm not in a position where it's a massive emergency I definitely had enough emergency funds put aside expecting something like this to happen that um, 
I can do quite comfortably for a few months. I prefer that it doesn't, though. I like staying busy. I like doing stuff. I like making stuff. And if this seems to carry on, I think... The, the, the problem I've got is, like, going back, um, say, 10 years or whatever, I spent 20 years working for the same company, doing a lot of um, originally DOS-based stuff and then Windows-based stuff and stuff like that. I was fine again. It was some web stuff at the end of it, and then got made redundant from that. So then I ended up working at another place where the company was actually a gene therapy company. They didn't produce software or anything like that. I just happened to be doing software development for internal stuff. So a lot of what I've done has been... It wasn't even what you call back-end, because there was no back-end. And then at the place that I was just on about, I was doing a lot of web-based stuff, but it was internal based so it was a lot of python django and all that kind of thing and vanilla javascript and there's a lot of python based stuff kicking around that is you know quotes full stack but they want someone who's got years worth of react experience or view or something like that and i don't have that so i don't necessarily test well like, it's the sort of thing I can learn pretty quickly. It's not a problem. But when it comes to the um, technical tests and stuff like that, I'm up against people who are doing it day to day. So that's the tricky part. I'm sure I'll find the one. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? <laughs> Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now I know a nice little place we can hang out, you know, it's a you will line back. relaxing little spot. Hey, Frost, how's it going? You having a good Tuesday? Remember Jawsom. Jawsom. Maybe not. That's me. Oh, okay. I do. Yeah. When I was job hunting almost a year ago, it was similar. Everything was slow and there weren't many good jobs. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 definitely like that at the moment. Oh, does that does that mean Okay, I can only do stuff as um more VR content. Oh I got oh right, okay, yes, yes, yes. Well, um, VR content goes up every day. Yep, every day. Uh, I just tend not to stream VR. I don't. Um, I haven't streamed VR for a while, but there's a new VR video goes up every day. In fact, what about an hour ago? There was what was it? Um, Ancient Dungeon uh, was the one I published tonight. So yeah. You you will definitely find VR stuff on my channel. I've forgotten where my house is. Where's my house? It's there. Am I facing in the right direction? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I just wanted to say hi. I have to go. Well, it was good to see you. Good to see you, and I uh, hope the rest of your day's good. Chopper, come here. What are you looking at? So are these people. Oh, I should throw the ball, shouldn't I? 
Oh, no, I shouldn't throw the ball because there's cars. Hi. Hey, AS. How's your day going? Seems to be a lot of people turning up and saying hi, which is kind of cool. Go away. I want to throw the ball. No. I don't want to throw a gun. I want to throw a ball. Why must I throw a ball at the car? Did you? He just insulted my dog. I'm not even a dog person. But I'm not having that. Is it story mode? Yes, it is. It's um, Good boy. my first time playing the story in like five years. Um, I kind of got to thinking that. Um, oh shit! I keep doing that when I mean to do that. Go for a job. Where's that stupid dog? Come on. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, because we got Death Stranding 2 coming next year, and hopefully GTA 6 coming next year, my thinking was... Um, I want to play GTA 5 all the way through again. Uh, not so far in here. This, this would be... When I get to the end of the story, this will be my fourth time ever playing the story all the way through. I've done it a bunch of times before. I've lost... Oh, no. I got the ball back. Okay. Um, I mean, I played it when it very first came out ten years ago. Uh, played it... So I played it on the Xbox 360 back in the day. Then I played it on PC when it very first came out on PC. And then I played it on PS4 when I got myself a PS4. And... Now I'm like, GTA 6 is coming, hopefully next year. So I am having one more playthrough. And because we've got Death Stranding coming, well, Death Stranding 2 coming next year, um, earlier this year, I've gone past my house. I've gone down the wrong fucking road. Jesus. Seriously? Oh, for goodness sake. Um... Let's go old school. Um, yeah, I just I just recently finished doing a full r another playthrough of Death Stranding. So having finished that, I thought, oh, what am I going to play now? And I thought, that's it. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> oh my God! Can you imagine? <laughs> God. That would be epic. This looks like it's not going to go well. This looks a bit steep. Way. That went well. That went really well. I was just trying to get home. All right, <laughs> Oh, it's gone black and it's not coming back. Oh, there we go. That took a while. Right, well, problem solved. Hopefully Chop made his own way home. Um, should we call a taxi? Let's call a taxi. That would be sensible, right? Someone should make fan-made games for Xbox 360. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even remember. How much memory and storage did a 360 have? I can't even remember. Uh, what am I doing? I'm calling cab. You got any cabs available? I'm sending one out right now. I'll yeah. be here. Anyway, I I I want I want GTA for Commodore 64. That's what we need. There's a cab over there. Is that my cab? PS3 or Xbox 360. Do you know I never had a, a PS3. I I where you going? Uh, I want to go home. Oh uh, no, didn't want to do that. I've forgotten. How do you select? How do you select? Choose change destination. Left. There we go. Um. I don't have anything to go on because I 
I never had a PS3. I had an original PlayStation. I'm old enough to have had an original PlayStation quite late into my 20s. Um, let's skip. But I never had a PS2 or a PS3. So in terms of consoles, I went original PlayStation and then okay. PS4 because I was sort of PC for most of the intervening time. Why was I even coming home? I should be looking. Well, I need a vehicle, don't I? Right. Okay. Do we? Face screening in here. Am I 50? I wish I was 50. I'm 56. I wish I was 50. Um, no, sadly, I'm way older than 50. Should we go see Michael? Let's go see Michael. What does Michael... Hang on a second. Why can I go to Michael's? Xbox 300 and 60 Elite with a 120 gigabytes hard drive. I think the slims might go up to 250 gigabytes. Whoa. I'm not certain about that. 30. AS. Oh, AS is 30. Right, okay. Well, I, 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 yeah, 30. That's good. Good age. I always felt that my favorite age, like... When I felt life was pretty much at its best was around 35. So, um, yeah, you still got a bit of go yet. No, you are 30. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not. I am so really not 30. I wish I was. Um, no, honest, no kidding, 56. I was born in 1967. Do the maths. But if I come across as 30, I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, right, what are we doing? So why the fuck is Michael on my map when... I know, right? It's practically dead, isn't it? Let, let's be frank about this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm like max in years old. Um, like, I'm so old, it's unlikely I'll actually see GTA 6, right? Um, why is it I can go and do a thing with Michael when he's in hiding? Oh, am I going to go and check in on the kids? I, well, funny enough, um, uh, Kenny and I were talking about this the other night. I, I am actually about Michael's age. Like, my, in the game, in GTA 5, Michael is about 10 years younger than I am now. But if you, as Kenny pointed out, if you uh, accept that this game is set in, like, 2013... These days, Michael would be the same age as me. What I like to point out is I'm about the same age as Keanu Reeves. Okay, so I'm the same age as John Wick. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. Ah, uh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job. Yeah. And he fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I hit you if I find anything. Yeah. Who's John Wick? Uh, oh, hey. I can't believe Trevor's you just asked wife. me who's John Trevor's Wick. No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? Are, are you seriously telling me that you've never watched a John Wick Nothing. movie? Nothing to say about that. Run! I only know Max Run! Payne. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if you've never watched a John Wick movie, you're in for a treat. You should watch the John Wick movies. Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm beautiful. Oh, okay. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. Might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. 
<laughs> Come on. You miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. Close the fucking business! I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down. You are like Undertaker Age. Face with tears of joy. It's funny you should say that. I, um, a very good friend of mine. I'm sure if I've ever seen the fourth one. <gasps> oh, you must. So, uh, the friend I was just going to mention, who is very much into wrestling, and does, you know, she often likens me to The Undertaker, in terms of age, probably. Good to meet you, Michael. We're both John Wick fans, and when John Wick 4 came out, about a year ago, actually, wasn't it? Just a little bit more than a year ago. We actually decided we were going to do a marathon. So we, we mapped it all out and we st came out of my place and we started about nine o'clock in the morning and watched the first three movies back to back and then raced into Edinburgh, went and had some dinner and then went and watched John Wick 4 at the movies all in one day. And, um, yeah, we finished just after midnight. So, like, started the marathon at about nine-ish in the morning. And with the odd little food break here and there and stuff like that. And then stopping for dinner. Managed to get all four movies into one day. It was fantastic. I'm a massive fan of the movies. Absolutely love them. Never watched John Wick and not even Avenger Endgame or any Avengers movie. Oh, oh, I love the Avengers movies. I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man. Is, is that just because you've not had the opportunity, or is that because they're just not your thing? And a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. My stake in Oscar's thing ain't under the TP conglomerate umbrella. I want my own brand success. Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax funded militia. Oh god, I've just realized what mission it is. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. Oh fuck, I better get comfy. Get out of the way, Ron. Well, as if you run him down. Oh God, I just remembered which mission this is. I absolutely love this one. when you played it in 2013. Yep. Face screaming in fear, face screaming in fear, face screaming in fear. And all right. You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment? Oh. I, I actually played it on my, um, th so the Xbox 360 I very first played it on was actually my son's, like, uh, you know, I, I've never played Max Payne, no. It's one of those games I've never really paid much attention to. Is it definitely uh, worth having a look at? But yeah, the Xbox 360 I first played it on was actually one I got for my son for his birthday one time. And um, he he's in his early 20s now. And I got that for him when he was a kid.
crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough! That means he will 20 this year. He's, he's actually uh, 22. He's screaming in fear. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just finishing university. Right, I've already come the wrong way or a long way around to catch this thing up. He's screaming in fear. <laughs> hey. Still want me to be low. Okay. Brother, I'm fine. You know Ronald. Ronald, you there? Mm, Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. I can tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. We're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower or two. We're too high. Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration. I'm in control of this. <laughs> I thought I was doing pretty well. I thought I was staying nice and low. <laughs> I, I don't have access to a 360 these days. Whoa, treat! Is it, um, is it available on PlayStation as well? Oh, shit! Crap. Crap. Wasn't quite paying attention. Okay, let's go lower. Let's go lower. I thought I was doing okay. Ooh! Nearly got bird strike there. Alright, I'll stay really low. I was trying to catch it up. I can be myself. It is weird thing that a 2005 console can play 2013 game. Face screaming in fear. And flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest face with tears of joy. I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. I just realize there's actually no altitude display, is there? Unless you go into the cockpit. Well, I'm going to be, um, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be streaming GTA 5 until I get, um, until I get to the end of the story. But I'll have a look. It's, I mean, the main thing is, 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 is Max Payne available? Is Max Payne available on the PlayStation? Because... I stream off the PlayStation when I'm playing this kind of stuff. I was wondering about what I would play next after... I was wondering what I was going to play next after um, this. Oh, it is. I might look that up then. I might look that up. I've definitely seen the movies. Or movies, the more than one I can't remember. I've definitely seen the movie um, on streaming services. Right, let's go for it. But um, it's never, I've never really got around to watching it. Maybe should. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've been wondering about what I'll play once I finish the story here. Is good. Game is good. Thumbs up. I do like it. I do like a good bad movie though. 
I quite like a bad movie, so if the movie's bad, I might enjoy it. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, I think I got a bit of weight turbulence. I think I got a bit of weight turbulence. There we go. Oh, flashbacks to playing VTOL VR the other day when I was trying to do mid air refueling. Actually, I didn't try, I successfully did it. Oh, crap. Shit like this is so much easier in VR. Oh, um, let me think. It was probably about... I mean, I didn't let him play the story when he was a lot younger, but I, I used to let him muck around playing it when he was like 13 oh, oh crap oh I should have turned on Trevor's mode shouldn't I um, yeah like when he was like 12 or 13 or whatever I, I let him muck around in it not the actual story because like you know that's a, a bit violent obviously but um, I used to let him muck around Hey, little Bobby! Is it Bobby? Is that how we sh should pronounce it? There we go. Uh, yeah, not online. Um, it was only... I used to let him muck around in my single player save. Actually didn't ever do... Actually didn't ever do online. Um, on the 360. I found it amazing, even though I'm not usually a fan of these types of games. Ah, it's an interesting one. You, s yeah, it's interesting you say that. Um, because because I'm the same. It's not my kind of thing either. But I've had a few people say to me, it, it's really worth playing. Yeah, I might have to look at Boulder's Gate. 16, 17, or 18, or 19 year old can play. Yeah, yeah. As, as I say, when he was that young, he was never play. I don't know if he's ever actually played online. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he's he's not a. Well, I suppose he does play some flat screen games. But he's way more into his VR like me. Mm, um, no, I haven't played any. Uh, like you mean on like an RP server? No, it's not something I've ever done. This is fine. I'm sure they're friendly. I'm sure they're friendly. Let's just keep going up. Do you know Dr. Creep? Do I know Dr. Creep? No, that's not a name I recognise. I don't think um, a GTA 5. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a GTA 5 RP thing would really be quite my thing. Um, I'm not a massive fan of multiplayer games, anyway. Uh, I've never heard of him. 
screaming in fear. Oh! Hang on, what happened? What was I supposed to have done that... Meriwether Cargo Jet Ground Control, please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field! Swapping radio channels... Well, I would imagine that would be... Uh, I would imagine that would be quite coincidental. What was I supposed to do that I didn't do there? I've forgotten. Maybe need to listen a little harder to what they're saying. Or actually listen to what Ron's saying. I like watching it and you should crash into jet. Ah. Gain some altitude. Okay. He said he's awake. He said no it already. Face screaming in fear. Maybe I'll give you ten percent of what's in the hole, then we're all happy. Whoa! <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I did a good job of hitting him then. Well, the thing is, is the idea, the idea of a pandemic is hardly a novel idea. There have been many in the history. Oh shit! There have been many in the history of the planet. And it was inevitable that one would happen. Oh shit! Also said the name of the virus Shit! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Well, I'm I'm going to be quite sceptical about that because um, that seems quite unlikely. I'll look it up. I forgot how you open your chute. <laughs> I actually forgotten how to open your chute. Oh, it's X. Thank you. Right, there we go. But you have to remember, when it comes to songs and things like that, thousands and thousands and thousands of songs have been written. And you get coincidences you you just do this is how magical thing i'm not accusing you of magical thinking but this is how magical thinking happens um it's it's easy to fit things um retroactively so the, the thing with predictions for example let's say is if an event happens and then people go back looking at things that have happened in the past and go oh that fits that's a coincidence it's you know it's not um it's not really a um a prophecy of uh, or a prediction or anything like that a prophecy or a prediction would or should be something that is very specific and is recognized as being such when it's made and then you see if it actually comes true um 
that's uh, you know that's kind of good skeptical thinking if you approach it that way. Right, what have we got here? Strangers and freaks. Strangers and freaks. I don't think we had any strangers and freaks left. Trevor, shit, are you okay? <laughs> I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. Which one has the best Mike Tyson or Mama Gully? Oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. That's really not a thing I've got an opinion on. I don't know anything about box. They're boxers, right? I don't really know anything about boxing. Not really my thing. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Yeah, it's not something I. Um, oh. oh, we got a, we got a, okay. a, a thing. We got a thing. Okay, we're going there now. Ah, oh, am I just going to run it? Or should I like, because I haven't got a vehicle at hand. I haven't got a vehicle at hand. By the time I've actually stolen one, I'll probably be there anyway. I hear something coming? No. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's Vekler. 16, 17, or 18 year old play GTA 5. H. Hey, look! Borrowing your car. I'll return it. Just because. Sorry, what was the question? Ah, Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt a farm, killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! <laughs> we want to see predictions that might actually happen. Watch The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you want situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos. Inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. Yeah, The Simpsons is a really good example, isn't it, of that kind of. Can if you. Or or year old play GTAR 6? Um, I honestly don't know. I suppose that would depend on uh, country to country, wouldn't it? And, um. The, uh, the 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 um, rating that they put in the game, I can't imagine it wouldn't be a problem. But yeah, The Simpsons is an interesting one, isn't it? It's a great example of that thing of there. Is, oh, Trevor, oh, really? There's so many episodes that have covered so many subjects and things like that. It's so easy to actually retrofit a story into a, a situation. Don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money and you became a turd. And this for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this the place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Just like 2024 kind of Trump will become president this year. You're, face you're, with you're tears totally of joy. Face with tears of joy. Face with okay. tears of joy. Yes, I have a horrible, horrible feeling. You're right. Yeah, well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate the <laughs> research lab upstairs. I think 17 or 18 year old can play GTAR 6. Thumbs up. I can't imagine why not. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper and GTA 5. Oh, no worries there. Trevor, he just came into a lot of money. 
Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But not ten or nine year olds and eleven and twelve and thirteen face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Yeah, I wouldn't let someone um, that kind, you know. 9, 10, 11, or whatever, play GTA 5 story. Absolutely wouldn't. And even when I let my son muck about in it, it was always supervised. And it was just like letting him drive around the countryside, letting him um, do races and things like that. He said he knew about something. Yeah, it was, it was never unsupervised. And it was never the story mode. Yeah, but in online kids do. Oh. With tears of joy. oh, they do. Yeah, they do. Um, I mean, th there's no getting away from that. I've uh, you, you get kids playing stuff that's probably inappropriate for them, unsupervised, all kinds of violent games, all kinds of adult content games. I, as a parent, I mean, obviously my kid is in his 20s now, but, you know, as a parent... That's the thing. Of course, it can seem like a prediction if you create episodes based on presidential candidates or potential outcomes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Enraged face. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. Also, not to mention the fact that, like... The Simpsons right, have included so many famous people in their shows. And if you make multiple episodes with different scenarios, sooner or later, one of them is bound to occur. Yeah. This AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh. Have you? Really? Yes, oh, this is, this is my favorite little exchange, I think. Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. In some ways you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. <laughs> but why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real. And I love this exchange. Or 17 plus can play guitar games because they are rated for them. Yeah, well, what if it gets Thumbs up. Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there. You know, a little wacky. <laughs> what I get. Go on, what say it, say Not it. The absence of taste, T, it's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos. <laughs> the weird music. The funny toys, the niche drugs, the Not ten or twelve year olds. Enraged face. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. <laughs> You're a hipster. I love this. Hipsters. Classic hipster denial. Poor <laughs> hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. <laughs> Of all the things that enrages Trevor, calling him a hipster, quite correctly, just winds him up. I love it. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster. 
Do you play GTA 3? I've never played it. Uh, oh, actually, that's not true. And this actually goes back to a conversation I was having with Kenny, uh, Kenny a while back. I, I believe I have played GTA 3 on an Android tablet like 10 years ago. I didn't play it all the way through. Um, but GTA 5, I think, was the, well, the first GTA game I ever played. I started playing GTA 4 since, like about 10 years ago. I haven't finished it, but GTA 5 was the first GTA game I played all, all the way through. And funny enough, these days, I live just down the road from where they make GTA. In fact, I'm job hunting at the moment, and many of the jobs uh, well i keep seeing jobs for rockstar for working on gta 6 because obviously they've you know the uh, rockstar north offices are in oh, man, edinburgh which is just near where i live <laughs> these two are just fantastic GTA 3 was released on android yeah yeah i played it on an Android tablet. It, like, it, I think it was like getting on for ten years ago. Hey, Feels hey, like hey. it. Welcome to paradise. Played it on my Nexus Seven. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. And we'll go to the front of the bank. Clock yeah, 10th entrance. anniversary, now 20 face with tears of joy. God. He knows what's happening. <laughs> we should go back and play them all. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It's 22, I think. Sounds about right. There's an empty lot behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. We're going in here. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's going to cost more to break that system than the score is going to pay. So we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response. Do you know GTA 4 crackers are also in hey, it? You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. In um, GTA 3. Oh, uh, there's certainly a mention of a couple. I know that. Ah, oh, come on, aim. You need to set off the alarm, so hit oh. the box already. Is that not the alarm? That's the alarm. <laughs> I'm shooting the wrong thing. I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. How was I supposed to know what the alarm was? Do I look like a bank robber? Yeah, you killed Johnny from GTA 4 crying face. Oh, okay. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. I know, um, I know the main character gets a mention. I've forgotten his name now. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it what, even what is the name of the main character from GTA 4? I've forgotten. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. Nico. Nico, that's it, Nico. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, he gets a mention, doesn't he? Um, this is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many. We but he isn't this. in the game. No, he, is, he isn't in it, but um, he, he gets mentioned as someone who could take part in the first main heist and then he's like, ah, no, but he's gone quiet. He, he, he gets he gets actually mentioned. I think. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. 
Lester actually mentions him as someone who could take part in a heist and then says, oh no, but he's gone quiet or something like that. Hey, wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. I'm not going to outrun a cop. We've got to go. We're going. No, not Lester. He'll be the one running from the cops. Hipster! No, I, de I definitely remember um, Lester mentions um, Nico as, you know, like, um, yeah, a guy from Liberty City. Whoa, shit! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that made me jump so much. Alright, heading again, Dave. Heading again. Where's the turning? I've lost the turning. There. There we go. Ah, oh, crap, they're in front of me. Where am I going? This is one of those times where I need to keep half an eye on the minimap, but also need to keep an eye on the road ahead of me. And it's just all going to end in a violent death. Definitely going to end in a violent death. Do you know I haven't been up Mount Chiliad yet in this, um, in this play? Shit! Fuck! <laughs> Bollocks! <laughs> oh, God. From one of the missions mentions him, but not by name. Ah, okay, yeah. I was really, I think a lot of us actually were really hoping that GTA 6 would end up being one that is yet yeah, really expansive and actually covers all the different places like it would take in basically the whole of the GTA world North America and you could go between yeah, you know, Liberty City, Los Santos and the other one. Am I from London? No, I'm most definitely not from London. I'm originally from York, in Yorkshire. But these days I live in Scotland. So whereabouts are you from? And you don't have to give any detail if you don't want to. Nope, don't live in London. No, I live just outside Edinburgh. In Scotland. Scotland. That's the one. Which is where, which is pretty much where GTA comes from. The original Grand Theft Auto was created in Scotland and a lot of the work is still done here in Edinburgh. It's the reason why the stock exchange in um, GTA is called the Borsac. Okay. Because Borsac's a Scottish word. And it's basically a Scottishism for testicles, for example. I'm fairly sure I beat them. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trev is such a child at times. Good old Trev. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. <laughs> Yo, bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? 
An eyelid. That's probably not even human. <laughs> Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. I suppose this time I will go for... Ah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Well, I am tempted by chef. Good old chef. I think I've always gone with chef, actually. Yeah, this let's go with chef. You want. Yes. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Well, suit yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, every time I see that chili or whatever it's supposed to be just looks vile. Better out than in, eh, Trev? Better out than in. Right, well, I think that's long enough for me this evening. Ah. Franklin, buddy, what's up? One. Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. <laughs> I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael, and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. Cool. Right, I'm going to save it there. Because I think that's me done this evening. There we go. Um... Because, yeah, I'm expecting a fairly busy day tomorrow, so I should get some rest this evening and have a sensible bedtime and all that nonsense. Um, got a bit of coding I want to do in the morning as well. So, and yeah, I'm expecting a phone call um, job-wise and everything. So I want to be up and bright and fresh and things ready for that. So guys, thanks for being there. I've had a few people drop in this evening and say hi, and that's actually been really cool. Really enjoyed that. Um, so uh, for uh, everyone who may still be out there, thanks for dropping by and watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, especially you, Kenny. Always good to see you, obviously. Hope um, that uh, performance hunting is going well. I'll be uh, looking for... I'd, oh, I forgot to mention as well, I, I did get in and play um, Downhill VR um, Sunday. Was it Sunday? I can't remember. Yeah, it was Sunday. Um, those new um, tracks are absolutely fantastic. And I'm ashamed to say I missed one. It was... I, while I was playing and recording, I thought I'd gone through all of them. And I think you added another one to the speedy challenges and I somehow missed that. Um, so yeah, that that's actually kind of like really embarrassing that I managed to somehow miss that. Um, so I'll have to go back in and play that, but yeah, those new, um, those new, um, uh, tracks and everything are actually really, really fun. And I think I managed to pip you on, two if not three of them i think so that was a good start i was quite proud of that 
anyway i'm definitely going so um thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it and for anyone who happens to catch the recording at uh, some point in the future thanks for watching that as well and good night you'll get it next time i'm glad you liked them more are on the way good night bye